Let's play a fun game of true or false. The hotter your curling iron is, the longer your curls will last. Is this true or is this false? I would love it if you guys would comment right now down in the comments and let me know which one you think it is now, and then you can wait till the end of the video to see if you were right. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jessica. If you are new, hello, welcome. Here on YouTube, I make videos about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. And I am always looking for the best new hairstyling tool. And I love doing demos and reviews of different hairstyling products. So if you are ready for the next level of hairstyling tools, get ready because I have some next level Jetsons kind of stuff. I don't know, Xena, girl of the 21st century right here y'all with the t3 curl id smart curling iron i curl my hair about two to three times a week so i'm always looking for the next best product that i can use to do that with something that is not going to damage my hair so when t3 offered to send me over one of these to try i was like yes sign me up speaking of t3 if you've never heard of this company before they're one of my go-to companies for hair styling tools and products. I own so many of their tools already. I have their convertible wand collection. Which I also have their Lux hot roller set, which I love. It is so good. I have a hair dryer. And if you're looking for a new hair styling tool to take your hair styling game to the next level, T3 definitely has you covered. They're always using like next generation technology, like in curling iron we're about to explore today. Right now, their whole site is 20% off for their fall friends and family sale now through October 23rd. So it is a great time for you to snag something. If you've had your eye on something, or if you check out this curling iron today, decide that you like it. You could also grab some holiday gifts early for some of the people in your life who love to style their hair. Just an idea. Make sure you jump onto that sale because it is such a great deal. Every T3 purchase comes with free shipping over $75, a two-year warranty, and a 30-day free return window. Okay, so let's unbox the Curl ID and talk about all of its amazing features. First of all, just have to say the boxing and the whole presentation of all the T3 products is always so beautiful. I mean, when I unboxed this, it was just absolutely just so well done. I'm just a sucker for really great packaging. I don't know about you. All right, so the Curl ID, what is it and what is so special about it? This is actually the first curling iron or professional curling iron, I should say, that is truly personalized to your hair. Yes, personalized. They use some really advanced technology in this to simplify your styling experience, eliminate the guesswork out of the settings you should be using on your hair when you're heat styling it. All of this ultimately helps to minimize the damage to your hair. So some of its features include free rapid heat IQ, which ensures advanced heat precision for beautiful results, nine precise heat settings so that you can get the most personalized heat settings for your hair's needs. It has an ion generator, which helps to minimize static frizz, which ultimately boosts the shine of your hair. The Ceragloss Ceramic Barrel, which is so nice and smooth, gives shiny, smooth results that last. And it also has dual ceramic heaters, so it provides a very even heat. There's no hot spots in this. You'll notice when you take the Curl ID out of the box, there are no visible buttons on there. And that is because this whole area is a touch screen. I told you it was some next level jets and shit. So like I said, this is the first professional curling iron that's truly personalized. So what that means is when you turn it on, which I don't know if you can see, little power button, it's like slightly illuminated. You might, oh, it makes some really fun sound effects. Once you turn it on, see that it has some different little lights that light up. It's when you first use this for the first time, you'll go through and you'll set your own setting. So the first setting you'll set is the coarseness or the fineness of your hair. I have that all the way up to level three because I have very coarse hair. Then you'll select the little paintbrush symbol underneath that, turn that on if you have colored your hair in any way, which I have. And then underneath that, you'll see like a little thing that looks like a like science beaker. And that's if you have done any chemical processes to your hair, such as straightening it, um, which I have not. So that is not selected on my curl ID setting. Every time you turn on your curling iron, it will automatically go to these settings that you have already set, unless you hit the mode button, which you can do by uh, double tapping the power button. Cause basically the curling iron will be locked into this setting because obviously you're gonna have your hand over it while you're using it. Um, so in order to change the mode or change the heat or do anything while it's on, you gotta unlock it by double tapping the power button. It makes a little unlock sound. And now I can hit the mode and that will take me into manual mode in which I can uh, select or deselect um, through the nine different heat settings so I can do a more customized temperature if I so choose. But 
I like to just do my curl ID setting because it's set and it's personalized for me. And I, that's the whole point of having this curling iron, right? I don't know if you just heard it, but it locked itself back and it is heating up again just to get back to that temperature that my curl ID is. When it's ready, it makes that little sound and we're ready to start styling our hair. Whenever I curl my hair or style it, I always take a clip and I separate my hair out into sections and I work section by section. I have really thick hair, so this is really the only way that I can do it and get it done in a sort of efficient way. Otherwise, it's just way too overwhelming. We're clipped and we are ready to go. The process is pretty straightforward. It has a clamp and it has the end here, which is not heated. So for any reason, you need to hold that end. You absolutely can and you will not burn at your fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a nice little section right here, put it in the clamp, and then I just kind of curl it away from my face. And I always like to leave um, a little bit of the end of my hair out of the clamp just because that kind of gives the hair a little bit more of a tousled, more undone look rather than the perfect like curly ringlet look, if that makes sense. Um, I do like that look like for some certain things, but for this, for like my everyday routine, I like it to look a little bit more undone. So here's one of the curls. It just it looks great. It's very uniform. It looks nice and shiny. Um, I did just FYI, uh, blow my hair out before this and I used uh, the Color Wow Dream Coat Spray on my hair just for extra shininess, um, which I highly recommend that stuff. I will link it down in the description box if you wanna check it out because that is like one of my go-to holy grail hair products is the Color Wow Dream Coat Spray. It just makes your hair so silky and smooth and shiny. And it really helps protect it from humidity if you live somewhere where you have a lot of humidity. Um, the thing that I really like about this curling iron is just the ease of use of it. And I feel, find that the one and a quarter inch barrel is kind of like the perfect size barrel for like everyday things. This is pretty much the size curl that I would go for. So I feel like this is gonna be a really great go-to hair tool in my collection just because this is the size curl that I really like. But even if you don't have long hair, I've seen this used on girls with like really short hair and it looks really cute, like kind of like tousled waves. I also just really love the aesthetics of the T3 curling irons, you know, just the beautiful like white with the rose gold accents. It's just so beautiful and sleek and chic. And this like rusting thing is really nice. It's got a little bit of um, rubber on the bottom of it. So when you set it down, you don't feel like whatever you're setting it down on is going to melt. It's just props it up at just the right angle to keep the hot barrel away from the surface that you are working on. And I love that. It's just, it's a really great curling iron. It feels really nice in my hand too. While I'm sitting here curling my hair, just have to throw out there, I'm also on Instagram and TikTok and um, Pinterest, like literally all the social media places. So um, if you want some fun, like affordable fashion and travel and beauty inspo, maybe go follow me on those platforms because um, I would love that. And make sure if you do, you comment on a post and say hi and tell me that you came from YouTube because I love it when you guys um, pop over onto my other platforms and hang out with me elsewhere. I mean, even though YouTube is like, it's my favorite place to be, but I love it when my, my YouTube peeps find me elsewhere. All right, first layer is done. That was quick. Uh, I feel like that was just super easy. Like I said, I feel like this curling iron is really easy, simple to use. This hair clip on the other hand is not. It's pretty, but my fingers really struggle with it. So like I said, I'm just gonna let down another little layer of hair and clip up the rest. All right, didn't wanna make you guys sit through all of that. Coming out to the last little layer of my hair. Sure, I started at like five o'clock, it's now 5.30. I just feel like this thing, it just makes quick work of curling my hair. Usually it takes me around, I would say 45 minutes to curl my whole head of hair. 
but I think the reason why this is going so quickly is I don't feel like I have to hold my hair in the clamp very long for it to get the curl that I need it to get. Whereas with some other hair curlers, I, I find that like I need to, or I think that I need to hold it for a little bit longer, but this is just, it's the right temperature. I also feel like that ceramic glossy finish on the curling iron just helps everything like pass through it so smoothly. It just like, look at how the shine. I mean, it is, it's looking good. Boing. Get a haircut though, oh my gosh. It's about as long as I can tolerate my hair being before I start to get really fed up with it. <laughs> to turn it off, you have to unlock the screen first. So you double tap the power button. And then once it's unlocked, you just hold down on the power button until it makes this lovely sound. And now it's turned off. So cool. Okay, so right now, 5.33. Like I said, I think I started this whole process at like five o'clock. So it only took me a little over 30 minutes to do my whole head of hair, which I feel like is record breaking time for me with the amount of hair that I have. I'm actually really impressed. I think that the finish is really pretty and shiny. It looks good. It feels good. It doesn't feel like burnt or anything. This is actually the third time I have used this curling iron. I used it last weekend um, over the weekend at my sister's wedding and I curled my hair and I did not use any hairspray on it to finish it out because I wanted to see how long my curls would last um, over the course of a couple days without the help of hairspray to see like really how effective this is. And I do have to say, though the curls don't stay exactly like this curly, I think that's kind of impossible with any hairstyling device for them to stay exactly identical to when you, like the first day you did it. I still had a really beautiful like wavy hair effect for like two to three days afterwards. It was really, really nice. So I think that this is definitely worth um, investing in if you are somebody who wants to make sure that you are heat styling your hair at the proper temperature for your own hair and where it's at in its life or whatever, like whatever um, heat styling, chemical styling you've done um, in the past. This really just takes all the guesswork out of it. I think the barrel size is a really nice, like universal size barrel that's great for just like waves like this. And it just is beautiful and so easy to use. The only thing that I will say that's a little funky about it is the touchscreen aspect. That is something that is a little bit of a learning curve to get used to using because it's just so different. But like I said, this is the third time I've used it. And I feel like by this time I was really getting the hang of how to use it, how the buttons all work and everything. So it just takes a couple, a couple uses and then you're used to it. It's no problem. So definitely love this. I think it is a great little curling iron. It's a little bit more of an investment, but I have had several T3 uh, products in the past. The curling iron that I've had already, I've had for years and it's still going strong. So they are definitely um, a great product and they will last you for years and years and years. Now to answer the question from the beginning of whether or not you need to have your hair curler turned super up high to have your curls last, I think we have learned that that is actually false because my curl ID heat setting is only at level four out of the nine. And I, before this, used to, every time I had a curling iron, crank it up to the highest heat possible because I thought that because I have coarse hair, I need to have the highest heat setting. And that clearly isn't true because like I said, I curled my hair last weekend, didn't use any hairspray, and it stayed for days. So we have debunked that in this video. If you are interested in this, you don't sleep on it, and you get in on the friends and family sale while it's still going. As a reminder, it ends on October 23rd. So you have about a week from the day that this video goes live to snag some awesome hair tools for yourself. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps me out so much. You have no idea. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to check out another video, I recently reviewed the Beach Waver, which is a hair curler that curls itself. So if you find that you have a hard time doing the motion that I was doing in this video, this is a hair curler that will literally curl your hair for you basically. So check that video out next if you're interested and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.